Good evening. You have made it to the end of the week. It is Friday evening, and you have a weekend ahead of you, I hope, or at least you have some time uh, where you can kick back a little bit, maybe, I hope, and um, have some good time with God, whether that's at night or early in the morning, whenever your time is, to uh, search the scriptures and to listen to God. Uh, maybe you do that all day long, and that's awesome. Um, but whatever time you have, I'm so grateful that we have this time together tonight uh, to look at the prophet Isaiah. And we're going to look at the 40th chapter of the prophet Isaiah at the words which begin in verse 28 and continue through verse 31. Listen for the word of God. Don't you know, haven't you heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He doesn't grow tired or weary. His understanding is beyond human reach, giving power to the tired and reviving the exhausted. Youths will become tired and weary. Young men will certainly stumble, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will fly up on wings like eagles. They will run and not be tired. They will walk and not be weary. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. This is a good word for us. I think it's a great word for us on this Friday evening. Um, you may be very weary from this week. You may be very weary from carrying things that have been too heavy for you for a long time to carry. And maybe you've tried to put them down and then you've picked them back up. And maybe you've tried to give them to somebody else and they don't want them either. So they shove them back at you. And so you end up... Uh, not only carrying those things, but you've picked up a few other things in the process. And so you find yourself sometimes just so weary, you feel like you can't go on. You are truly exhausted. And many times on Fridays, we find ourselves, you know, I, I think so often, why do people get so excited about Friday? Because a lot of times when they get home on Friday and they realize, ugh, I don't have to go back to, you know, tomorrow or whatever. I'm going to get to have a little bit of extra rest or whatever the situation may be. And they realize then that they are so tired that they just kind of order in pizza, which is great. They kind of order in pizza and just hang out on a Friday night. But then they find themselves, and maybe you found yourself this way, in a pattern because you have continued to pick those things up and so your weariness grows further and further and further just as you move further and further and further and so you are so brought down by all that you're carrying and so it is normal it's real for you to be tired you really are tired but these words show us a, a good these are a good word for us when we feel this way because it has to do with the promise of God. A lot to do. It has everything to do with the promise of God. God promises us that, you know, it's not going to be this way forever. That we will be lifted up. That we will be carried on the wings of eagles. That we will walk and we won't grow weary. We'll walk and we won't stumble and we won't faint. You know, this is such good news to me, and probably some of you who know me know this. And, and others may not, others of you may not have a physical thing like this to, um, to compare this to, but I have trouble staying upright on my feet. Uh, since I've had shingles, I have a tendency to fall, and I don't like it. And I have broken things, and um, uh, I mean, I didn't break the concrete, the concrete broke me. Uh, the stairs didn't, I didn't break the stairs, uh, they broke me, those kinds of things. But it's something that happens to me, well, too much. It happens too much. And we've looked at all these different things, and I'm just a faller. I just fall at different times. And I look at that, and I think to myself, this promise from um, Isaiah, the prophet, and I think, there will be a time, and it will come, when I will walk, I won't be weary, and it, I don't have to be weary to fall, that's the thing, and that's what I want you to hear in this. 
I will walk and I won't stumble and I won't fall. You know, we look at things and we say, well, now, did they mean those literally or figuratively? For me, it's both. I see the good news that a new day is coming when we will be lifted up, when we won't have to have any of these burdens anymore, that they will be taken away, and that a whole new way of life will come to us, that we will be free, those who have, like my mother has a walker, that one day she will be walking and not have to have a walker. I have those kinds of dreams. Do you ever have those kinds of dreams? People who are bound in wheelchairs in different situations? And I don't mean for this to be a downer at all tonight. I think this is a great word, and that's what I want you to hear. And those of you who do these kinds of things or feel this way will hear the good news in this. And I hope those of you who hear the, hear the good news will share that with somebody else. Because those things are just as real as the Christ candle is real. There are better times ahead. We won't always be in a virus. We won't always be with racial tension. That's my prayer. But because of who God is and how God promises and how God's promises come true, I know that that's going to be true. I hope tonight that you can think about some of the things that I've suggested. And I only suggest these things to you, not to share about myself, but to help you to begin to visualize how good God is in your own situations. Whatever you may have that's caused you to stumble, whatever you have that's caused you to, to take on too many burdens, God can relieve those and God will relieve those. There will be a time when we will have no problems like we have now. Things will be completely different. And we will be able to walk and talk, be with each other. Life will be completely different when we are completely with God. I hope tonight that you see the good news in, in this. It's not forever. The virus is not forever. Nothing is forever except God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Thank you.